Top stories on the brief this morning will begin with the power situation. The transmission company of Nigeria says the restoration of the power grid is ongoing and almost completed. The public affairs general manager of TCN did in a statement yesterday said although the recovery of the grid commenced immediately, it encountered another challenge that caused a slight setback in the recovery process. Meanwhile, Nigerians have been expressing their frustration after the collapse of the national grid that has caused power outage across the country. Take the northwest Nigeria, for example, where the collapse of the grid negatively affected business operations. As all the franchise state and other Katuna electricity distribution company, Katuna, Kebis, and Paran Sokoto, were thrown into total darkness. The residents are calling for sustainable solutions to address the country's energy challenges. Now to the political challenges, former military head of state General Yakubu Gawan is urging the political class to be more concerned about the peace and the good of the people. He said at this during a media parley as part of activities to mark his 90th birthday in Abuja. General Gawan expressed sadness over the way democracy is practiced in Nigeria, describing it as crazy. He urges Nigerians to continue praying for the development of the nation. Honestly, we feel one feel either gratified, uh, you know that uh, Nigeria made me what I am, and I must not do anything uh, to create a problem for it, you know. Or, uh, but uh, to do whatever we can with your support, uh, as as well, uh, to get Nigeria going and. This is why I pray our political parties uh, and politics in, uh, in Nigeria should really be thinking more of uh, well-being of uh, Nigeria, peace of Nigeria, peace within their own uh, area, community, etc. And uh, all that is happening in various states, uh, you know, that, you know uh, today it doesn't make you feel uh, sad. It doesn't that uh, we say democracy, but it's looking as though it is going crazy. Not democracy, but democracy. Uh, that is what is happening uh, in, 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 in Nigeria. But however, let us not give up. Uh, praying uh, in, and also making sure you believe. Speaking of the nation, the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations has launched a Nigeria Reputation Management Group, a platform it hopes to use to promote the country's positive image nationally and globally. The president of the institute, Mr. E.K. Neliaku notes that the initiative will strive to project Nigeria's image globally, notwithstanding existing challenges. The event, which was chaired by the chairman channels media group, Mr. John Momo, attracted top government officials, including three former ministers of information, the current minister of information and national orientation, and the minister of foreign affairs. We are here to unveil what will become Nigeria's biggest possible transformation pillar and driver, the reputation project. The reputation of our country needs some help. Today's event is NIPR's robust response to the call. Nigeria's reputation, again I repeat, needs a radical transformation. And I'm now referring to our standing on international rankings. Instead, I'm talking about the reputation that is built on the integrity of our institutions, the transparency of our leadership, and the well-being of our people. So today I offer a charge, first to our politicians and leaders, the mandate that you politicians hold is a sacred trust, not a personal opportunity for enrichment. Ethical leadership must become the standard, not the exception. And to the citizens, I urge you to remember that the future of our country lies 
not only in the hands of our leaders, but in our own actions. We cannot demand integrity from others if we do not hold ourselves accountable. We must find a way of striking a true balance between, especially for the media, reporting accurately, objectively, and also being patriotic about your country. Well, let's talk about taxes now. The chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, Mr. Zaka Didiji, is allaying fears of a possible introduction of new taxes through the proposed tax reform laws. Mr. Didiji, who made this known when he appeared before the Senate Committee on Finance, assured Nigerians that the tax reform laws will not entail introduction of new taxes or increase uh, already existing ones at the interactive session aimed at briefing the committee in the National Assembly of Plans of the Service and Implementing Tax Reforms. The FRR's boss notes that the reforms essentially seek to increase simplicity, efficiency of tax administration, and obliterate multiplicity of taxes without the intention of merging any agency. Nearly two weeks after President Bola Tinubu submitted four tax reform bills to the National Assembly. Well, let's tell you uh, that the central bank governor has also been speaking uh, about Nigeria's economy. Mr. Olai Mikadoso is projecting Nigeria's gross domestic product growth rate at, uh, of 3.2% for 2024 and 3.3% for the next year. Uh, he was speaking as well during an interactive session with the House of Representatives Committee on Banking Regulations. He also reiterated the government's plan for the realization of the $1 trillion economy by 2030. Our focus has been on how to stabilize the economy, restore investor confidence in financial markets, and provide a seamless path to sustainable growth. Projections indicate a growth rate of 3.2% and 3.3% for 2024 and 2025 respectively. Although positive, these estimates remain below historical averages, suggesting moderate rather than robust expansion. In the second quarter of 2024, the economy grew by 3.19%, up from 2.51% in the corresponding period of last year. Uh, On the foreign focus. scene, the United States has written to Israel, giving it 30 days to boost humanitarian and uh, aid access in Gaza or risk having some U.S. military assistance cut off. The letter sent amounts to the strongest known written warning from the U.S. to its ally and comes amid a new Israeli offensive in northern Gaza that has reportedly caused a large number of civilian casualties. It says the U.S. has deep concerns about the deteriorating humanitarian situation, adding that Israel denied or impeded nearly 90% of humanitarian movement between the North and South last month. Well, those are the major stories uh, at this hour.